What's up, gangsters? Oh my, it, it's been a while since the last video. Remember that one though, the like three and a half hour long one? That was pretty cool, right? At the end of that video, I did mention something about like, you know, like maybe taking a little break from all the disturbing stuff and well, here we are. See, um, as much as we all love disturbing movies, I am also just like endlessly fascinated by this, this so-called outsider art cinema. You know, these, these ill-advised, misguided, passion, vanity projects, low budget productions with often just like one person being in charge of writing, directing and starring, resulting into these, these bafflingly so bad they're good fever dreams. The Room would be the, the ultimate like example for me, you know, like everybody knows The Room, so, so you guys sort of know what I'm talking about, right? But then I, I would rather focus on some more of the obscure stuff, enter the Holdra. And <laughs> as obscure as this is, you can just go on YouTube right now and watch it. I mean, please do it. Look, here it is, at a whopping 203 views as of recording. Go ahead and join the 34 people that have locked it on Letterbox. Because honestly, this is a bit of a hidden gem. Um, where to start though? Um, with the plot, I guess? So, you have these two kids, Joseph, an anthropology student, and Julie, a film student, and they're trying to get a permit to recreate the famous clock tower hanging scene from the 1923 classic silent movie Safety Last. Because see, Julie, she is the great granddaughter of Walter London, the cinematographer on Safety Last. And Joseph, he is the great grandson of newspaper mogul William Randolph Hearst, for some reason? In reality, however, it's actually the director of this movie, John London, who is related to cinematographer Walter London. So, you know, maybe we're dealing with a, a bit of a personal project here, maybe? But also, no. Because sure, you have the safety last aspect of the story, but that's not really what this movie is about. Fortunately, the movie starts with a song explaining the plot, because of course, this is also a musical of sorts. Unfortunately, though, <laughs> I, I can barely understand, like, I, I can't hear the lyrics, but the most important part is here. Exactly. Because, yeah, remember Holdras? They are actually a real thing. Creatures found in Scandinavian mythology, Sweden specifically, according to this movie. But <laughs> then again, don't let this movie teach you too much about Holdras. Anyway, plot twist. Julie, she is a Holdra. And then the movie mostly focuses on them trying to date, you know, like make their relationship work, which is really hard because... I too am a Holdra. I too am a Holdra. I'm a Holdra. I am an American Holdra. And you do not want to date a fucking Holdra after watching this movie, <laughs> I can tell you that much. And so, yeah, that's... <laughs> That's kind of the movie. I've seen it um, four times so far, and I know what you're thinking. Why? Well, that's why I'm here, so uh, <laughs> let me try and explain. Mostly because <laughs> watching this movie is just an absolute treat due to the many baffling filmmaking choices. With the most instantly obvious one perhaps being the fact that whenever the two main characters are talking, the camera keeps rotating around them. Yeah, you like that? Well, better get fucking used to it because that's the whole movie. Really, like scene after scene after scene after scene after scene of just the camera rotating around these two kids with them woodenly trying to work their way through their lines while having absolutely no chemistry whatsoever. It's, it's insane. Although not as insane as how monotonous and repetitive this movie is. Honestly, probably the best way to describe it is basically this whole movie is exposition. It's it's hilarious, like li literally like all they do in this movie is talk about either Holdra mythology or how their relationship isn't working out. The Holdra has supernatural powers. In ancient Sweden- Why would your great grandfather allow his wife to have an affair? Holdras in America have evolved differently. How could your great grandmother have had children if she menstruated blood? Can I become a Haldra? The universe's rotation is exhibited. The Earth, the moon, patriarchal the cultures suppressed female mythology. Christianity came to Scandinavia. The Haldra could no longer. I think the Haldra resulted 
from and thousands of years rarely of, have sex. and you could be hugged and kissed for nine well, months. We do, yeah, we get, when like, baby is every born, time. Go back to being I can understand why you'd want to avoid having sex. I mean, three minutes. I have another secret to tell you about. I'm a little bit concerned about the fact that your great grandfather committed suicide. she was all I don't care that your great grandfather killed himself. It's amazing. They sometimes repeat the exact same lines of dialogue in two consecutive scenes. Paldros rarely have sex. But when we do, we get pregnant every time. Paldros rarely have sex. And when we do, we always get pregnant. In general, they, they just repeat so much stuff. I'm so hungry. I'm hungry. I'm so hungry. I'm hungry. I'm so hungry. Also, there's this. I love songs by the band The Cure. I feel like their lyrics are really poetic. I love The Cure too. They sure fucking do. There's like four separate scenes where they bond over The Cure songs, reciting the lyrics straight into the camera. You're such a strange girl, the way you look like you do. You're such a strange girl. I want to be with you. Well, that's... that's cinematic poetry if I've ever seen some. Which is actually a great segue into, um, if you remember me mentioning it in, in the beginning of this video, the musical aspect of this movie. See, director John London, he was an active member of the 80s Chicago punk scene, being an early member of the band Naked Ray Gun, and recording a bunch of music with the band Toothpaste. And um, a lot of Toothpaste music made it into the movie, and um, <laughs> It might not always be relevant to that particular scene that it's playing over, or the story, the, the movie in general, but it does provide us with some absolute bangers like this. I mean, you guys are starting to understand why I kind of love this movie, right? My other favorite is the Opposable Thumbs song, not in small part due to Joseph's banging dance moves. <laughs> There's many more, but I do want there to be some surprises when you're all well, understandably so, going to watch this movie straight as soon as you finish watching this video. And I can't blame you for that. And honestly, um, there is a little more lore to this movie than I'm giving it credit for. So, <laughs> are you ready for this? Because, um, Julie's great-grandmother, she was also a Holdrum, of course, and she was having an affair with Harold Lloyd, and so when you kiss a Holdra, they turn invisible and start floating. And so that's how um, Julie's great grandmother was able to, you know, like lift, like pick up and lift um, Harold Lloyd in the air in order to shoot the famous clock tower hanging scene. True story. Which brings us to the um, absolute show stealing scene of this movie. Which happens when Joseph and Julie finally kiss for the first time. <laughs> and I do not blame you for thinking, oh, and this only goes on for three full goddamn minutes? But well, <laughs> you're in luck because this happens three more times throughout the movie. And it's the exact same thing every single time, with the cherry on top being all of them ending with Julie saying this. I'm bleeding! And it's funny every fucking time. I'm bleeding! I'm bleeding! I'm bleeding! As if not more iconic than the safety last clock tower hanging scene that this movie is trying to recreate. And then I haven't even told you guys about the amazing sister character with her lovely accent. And if a woman shall put away her husband, she committeth adultery. Or the establishment shots, which all have this, this warp effect and random space clip art. Or scenes ending with these movie maker effects. And, and, and the crazy pl plot twist, I guess? Towards the end, which I won't spoil, but then when the credits start rolling, a little under an hour into the 80 minute total runtime, you're like, no. No way, surely they didn't. But guys, this is the fucking Holdra. Of course it ends with a 20 minute end credit scene. And 
This is such a fitting way to end your experience of sitting through the Holdra. First of all, if you weren't already motion sick from all the spinning camera movements, this credit sequence will surely get the job done. And there's some great slides, check this one. Disclaimer: The Holdra is a fictional docudrama based on real life events. Is it though? I, I also love how the special thanks screen has all the serials in it. And there's no rhyme or reason whatsoever to the order of these screens. They keep repeating the same ones over and over, but then there's also screens that appear for the first time some 10 minutes into the credits. And as much as I love this movie, I've never actually made it through the whole end credit sequence. And well guys, um, that's the whole draw. I really hope you guys enjoy this video because honestly like, I would love to focus on these type of movies a little more in the future. I know there's guys like, you know, the, the channels like Red Letter Media, Ralph the Movie Maker, I Hate Everything, Fanboy Flicks, Good Bad or Bad Bad. A, a lot of awesome channels that are already focusing on, on these type of movies. And sure, I, I'd love to one day talk about, you know, like the, the more classics like Love on a Leash, After the Last Season, Ryan's Bay, but let me... Let me know what you guys think of, of this, this format, because um, if you guys enjoy this, I will probably continue doing a little more, but definitely focusing on, on more of the, like, like actually, like, obscure stuff that I've found over the years. So yeah, um, feel free to let me know, and then uh, I'll see you guys next time. Cheers. Have a nice day. That's what I'm supposed to say, right?